My name is Chris Pittman, and I'm a professional surf photographer. When did I become interested in photography? I think I was pretty young because I've always been interested in preserving memories and events, and I've always been a visual person. I always had an interest in surfing. Growing up, I started out really young, maybe six or seven skateboarding, living close to the beach. Maybe when I was 11 or 12, I moved from skateboarding to surfing when I was old enough to kind of get in the water on my own. So that's something that I've always been intrigued and interested in and always a great way to just have a release and have a good time. Maybe soon after I started surfing, we started taking pictures, not just myself, but myself and friends. Just again, we wanted to preserve memories and we wanted to compare what each other was doing in the water. So it was more of learning to surf better is how it all started and then it progressed to bigger things as we went on. I probably started shooting surf events about 10 years ago. Mostly it started off just shooting friends who were competing in smaller events and as they progressed the events got bigger and before you know it I was shooting QS and CT events so that's pretty exciting. Some of the fun things about shooting surf events is seeing all the different people and personalities, getting to know different people. Obviously with knowing some of the surfers, seeing what they do to prepare and how things go as they progress through the contest, sometimes could be very exciting. A lot of times you get emotionally invested in certain contests. My favorite event to shoot is probably the US Open because that's the one event in the world that brings all the surfers together. It's a QS event for the men, but most of your World Tour surfers show up for that. And it's a World Tour Championship event for the women, so you have the top women in the world, as well as all the juniors. So with that, you have a lot of media coverage. So it really is a great event to showcase your talents, whether you're a surfer or you're in media. Some of the surfers that myself and our family know really well, Miguel Pupo and his family, we've known him for probably five or six years now, and uh, we always see him here at the US Open and at Trestles. Another surfer that's always fun to shoot and be around, him and his family, is Felipe Toledo. You can always bank on him giving you exciting shots, because he's always pulling some sick aerials and he goes all out to win his heat. So he's always someone who's exciting to shoot. Another person who's really exciting to shoot when he shows up, obviously, is Kelly Slater. He's the man, it's Kelly Slater, enough said. In addition to surfing and action sports, I really enjoy nature shots. Now that I live in Las Vegas, when I have downtime and I'm not traveling to shoot, it's great to go out to Mount Charleston or Red Rock and shoot the scenery and the wildlife. Uh, it's very different from action, but actually a lot more relaxing and in a, a lot of ways more challenging because you're waiting for something to happen, but when it happens, sometimes it could be extraordinary. One of the things that I enjoy most about photography is bringing my family along, especially for surf contests. I think their support makes it a lot more fun and watching my daughter grow up having a great time and the people that she gets to meet and interact with nothing can ever replace that it's uh, nothing better than to be able to do what you love with the people you love one of my really favorite shots and it's actually a newer shot it's only a couple of months old from trestles this year is of our good friend sage erickson this is right before her semifinal against Tyler Wright. For the last couple of months, really since the US Open, Sage has been tearing it up and doing a really great job. And uh, this was a big moment for her. And I think uh, this was a great capture of her just being in the moment. I think one thing that stands out about this photo, obviously, is how Sage pops out in the photo. That is something that just happened that way. Anyone who knows her as a surfer knows that she's usually easy to find in the lineup with her bright and colorful wetsuits. I think 
her board and her popping out just really defined the moment. One of my favorite photos is this shot here, Felipe Toledo. Uh, what makes this photo special to me is he's known for his aerials, but a lot of people forget that he's a very powerful surfer. And I think this shot of him carving through the water with such a long stream of carve behind him is a very awesome shot. That's one that I took that actually became a header for Hurley and went viral, so I'm pretty proud of that shot. One thing that I know about that photo that I really liked was the uh, weather at Huntington Beach sometimes can be very tricky and it can be foggy all the way up until noon. That day was such a great day to shoot because the sun was out at seven in the morning and so it was just perfect for shooting. Another one of my favorite shots, we'll just call the Ghost Rider. This specific shot, as you could see, has a surfboard with no rider. Uh, I think on many levels it ends up being the ghost shot because I didn't know that that was in the batch that I took. I actually found it. Because there's no surfer there, I couldn't even figure out who was on the board. That was a shot that I originally thought was a throwaway, but I posted on Instagram just because I thought it was a funny shot and it ended up getting a ton of hits. This next shot here is of Sally Fitzgibbons at the US Open. But what I like about the shot more is the smoothness of the wave. I think that's just a great wave. I think this shot of Sally is a great shot. The smoothness of the wave uh, I think is really awesome. And I think it's a perfect wave for her style of surfing because she's a very smooth surfer. And to be able to capture a wave like that is rare. So I enjoy this shot immensely. Now this shot here, uh, even though it's at the beach, it's not surfing, but you can never lose with the classic California sunset. This is actually right down the street at Santa Monica, right off the pier. I think what's great about this picture is the rays of the sun and how the lifeguard tower is shadowed by that. But again, it's just your classic Southern California picture that when anyone thinks California, that's probably what they envision. And I would like to think in addition to surfing that I can bring a vision of Southern California to the rest of the world. And as far as finding some of my work, the easiest place to look is right here on the Surf Channel. I've actually been one of the official photographers for the Surf Channel since its inception. And I think at this point, I might be the original member of the Surf Channel. So in a lot of ways, that's pretty cool because as times went on, I've met a lot of great people and continue to meet a lot of great people. In addition to the Surf Channel, you can find more of my work at my Instagram at Riptide31. Hi, I'm Chris Pittman and you're watching the Surf Channel. Subscribe here for more videos.